I think. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, I just wanted to get a little bit more space. Alright, the headphones are having issues. Hello, <laughs> everyone. Uh, we got Magnus hopping on. Of course. I'm just we got Wave versus Ling Ling, which uh, this is... Magnus is not in the frame, by the way. Uh, it's okay. I don't, need, I, don't need, I don't need to be here. Hey, I am you, the unknown... You're on the screen right there. I am the unknown specter. Yeah. Alright, going into this game. We got Fox versus Peach. Uh... Yeah, Ling Ling and Wave. I don't know if these two have ever played. They probably have. Probably like a little bit. Um, I'm kind of curious to how see uh, how <coughs> if like which kind of wave shows up uh, for this yeah, matchup. Yeah, uh, the thing about wave <laughs> is sometimes wave uh, busters out, and he'll admit that. But yeah. sometimes he has moments of absolute brilliance. Yeah, but I think <laughs> this is going to be a matchup that's going to be pretty well, he difficult. Just, like, did a really fast yeah. perfect pivot up. Um, so I don't cause know. Because once you get wave off stage. Peach is such a good character for keeping him off because all he's gonna want to do is just side B and nair, nair, and nair. even like Z, Z drop um, on the turnip was gonna stop his up B. You know he Whoa. can really easily just be patient and really stuff out that side B if Ling Ling has Ugh. neutral control in that situation. So I don't know. It's hard to tell what uh, Wave is kind of doing right now. Uh, See. Oh my I told God. you! I told you that he's that gonna hold him out. A picture back here, back here, keeping him out, and then finally when he's too far, too far away. Edge guard. Uh, wave is moving nice though. I'll say yeah. that much. He he's just not getting a lot of hits in right now, which uh, he probably will start doing. He was having good movement in the neutral. It's just got he got grabbed. He's also off stage. Power shielding things. So oh, that's yeah. nice. That's kind of one of the unfortunate parts for Fox in this matchup, is that off stage. He can be susceptible to uh, somebody who has um, good hitbox or has an item that can be able to hold them out uh, there. He went off for the uh, runoff float nair, which I think is really good in this matchup because you can just catch Fox's side B going to the edge like every single time. Yep. After that, uh, after this is got him to 81%, so it's not going to need a lot more. He waited for an air dodge there, which uh, I think is kind of smart, but Ling Ling's going to jump away. Yeah. Ling Ling's going to just float and stay uh, passive. Okay. He's got four minutes on the clock. He doesn't need to rush anything, and you can tell. You really he's, don't. He's just going to take his time. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> he was just kind of like showing off there, and I think one of them just kind of hit him. Yeah. It does cover options, though, if you uh, auto cancel up there. So that's nice. <laughs> that was like a moment of ballet right there where you're just like smashing that. Okay, uh, smashing wave. You still get hit. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, it came out of a weird angle and still managed to snap ledge. Yeah, but did you see what he went for? <laughs> he <laughs> ran off the stage and did an up air. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know he's going for style points. <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> he's like, I got this. Nice up flash out of shield from wave, though. 70%. It's not looking good, but he still can do this. If he plays patiently. So at that high percentage, um, he's going to have a bit of a time once if he's knocked off stage. Oh, gets hit by the last one. Mm -hmm. Drops shield a little too early. Doesn't give him any advantage, unfortunately. Comes Could have been punishable. I don't know about coming off the stage, or coming onto the stage with forward airs, Fox. Like, it's good, but if you power shield the first hit, or if you even shield the first hit, you're open to a really yeah. free punish. But that, that is how Wave plays. He always picks the aggressive option in any situation. Yeah, forward air, boom. Yep. Whether it's whether it's recovering, whether it's like trying to go for the combo or the mix-up, whatever you think it's always aggressive. aggressive. Yeah, it's whatever the most aggressive option he can do is. It's probably going for it. Yeah, that's just who he is, you yeah. know. But um, in comparison to some some of the versions of Wave that I've seen, he's actually that's like so uh, far. that's like Larry Larry Lur. <laughs> like yeah, he does something similar. Like he goes for a lot of aggressive options. I mean, like he'll actually, sometimes wall you out with back airs, yeah. but like. He goes for aggressive stuff a it's lot. Even like Nairo, sometimes you see him like he just goes for some like stupidly aggressive options. I think Nairo's like the most aggressive top <laughs> player. <laughs> he just goes all in. And it's like he watches like matches like against the Buzz or something. Like, like if I were to compare, doing, comparing like Nairo to Mars, like Mars is way more defensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice tech, but uh, didn't want to get like Nared again. Mm -hmm. And actually, Ling Ling so far having good. Um, so far, starting off, really pushing right. him off stage. This is kind of how the uh, first game went, but Wave started to get some combos in, and yeah. uh, eventually took a stock. Yep. But Ling Ling just kind of outplaying him in neutral right now, which yeah. doesn't really bode well, because if you see those little stock icons, there's uh, only two of those. Ooh, gets caught up in the upbeat, doesn't able to actually uh, punish the recovery. Keeping Wave alive so far for now. I think one of the things that is definitely being exploited right now is 
Um, Wave, Wave is doing one of two things. He's either running up and up tilting, or running up and trying to shield to wait for like a grab off. Wow. Oh. He just down smash clanked with uh, Fox's up tilt. Good couple of dash attacks, get some damage, but nothing to gain too much off of that. He needs to really get his combo game started so he can start racking up this damage and get the kill. Yeah. Damage. Lance, who's on stream next? I'm on stream next? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's Ooh. what I figured. Anyway, so, um. Like I said, this is kind of how the first game went, but at this point, uh, Wave did get a bit more percent on Ling Ling, so this is going to be a really hard comeback, but I've seen Wave do uh, a lot harder than this. He just needs one or two good reads that yep. Wave sometimes does. And and, he, and you saw, he, he got uh, he got some good stuff on that first stock, finally after coming back after the, uh, that deficit in game one, but... Not looking as hot this uh, the second game. Not able to get something so f going so far for himself. Okay, forward tilt. Oh, nothing gets stuffed again. Okay. Well, he's playing very patiently. More patient than I've usually seen him. But then he automatically goes in with the aggressive <laughs> side B. <laughs> Just faked him out a bit, you know. Oh, okay. I like what Wave went for, though, because that was like a good read. Okay, and no, he was done. Pineapple. He was done. He was too far. Uh, Fortunately, not able to be carried right, in. I got to hop off. Alright, bye guys.